Hello everyone, welcome to another video. If you don't know who I am, I am Dave Designs. I do a load of graphic design and stuff over on this channel. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how to use Camera Raw Filter. Just the basic one for now. Uh, I'll run through what the other modes or like settings are. Um, but this is just for the new starters. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, obviously you want to you want to have an image, like a really good image. So I'm going to go and get the player, the football player, Neymar. Um, so let's just choose a really good picture. So let's look for one. Um, hmm, that's a decent one. We could go with this one. So just right click and then save as as usual. You know, nothing too hard as of yet. Um, then Photoshop. So in this video, so while Photoshop is loading, in this video I'm going to be explaining as well um, on how to make a dynamic image for FIFA. Um, so we will have a normal image, which uh, I will put here on what time it starts. But for now, I'm going to be showing you the dynamic image uh, for a FIFA card, which a lot of people have asked me how to do. So, um, open up Photoshop, open up the Getty Images. Um, so my, obviously my one is, is of Neymar. Click this little lock on the right hand side and then press remove background. And then that's it. it just, you know, that's just the magic. Gets rid of just get rid of the background just give it a sec should take a should take a few seconds there it is okay so now that we've now that we've got rid of the background um, as you can see um, I've just merged it together and then at the top there's file edit image layer type select filter 3d view plugins window and help you want to go to filter and then scroll down to this one here which says camera raw filter and then this will pop up with all these different types of settings so we're going to stay on the basic one for now as you can see it says basic and um, there's a load of different ones there's like curve which you can move up and down and all stuff like that um, then there's one with like let's say geometry and you know you can add a load of different things uh, from there um, effects normal so you can add green you can add whatever the, I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> uh, uh, collaboration, so you you know you can change like the hue of things, the saturation uh, of like, but the hue is of different colors. So as you can see, um, on the, this is the blue one, so you can turn just all the blue down and change it to like green, for instance. So you know there's a load of different settings that you can use, but we are just gonna stay on basic for now. Um, you know it's the most useful one as well. Um, maybe basic with a little tiny bit of curve but the one that we like to use is just the basic one so as you can see the different settings are exposure contrast highlights shadows white blacks texture clarity the haze vibrant saturation and at the top again there is just temperature so you can make it cold or hot and then also tint so you can make it green to purple um but yeah so obviously everyone else's image is different on this one there's barely any shadow on neymar um so we can uh, we can turn this up just a tiny. We can turn this up just like to 100. So from the shadow up, so plus 100. Yeah, okay. I didn't really explain that, did I? Okay. So here, there's the numbers on the oh, there's numbers on the right hand side. Zero, 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 zero. Uh, when it goes right, that's above zero. When it goes left, it, go, it that's below zero. Um, so. From shadows here, as you can see, this is the normal image of Neymar. If we put that to 100, the image barely changes because there's barely any shadow on him. Uh, so we can still turn it up a bit, uh, but highlights highlights up a little bit as well. Uh, whites up a little bit. Um, if blacks go down, what's it look like? And then if it goes up, what's it look like? Yeah, I think so. If you turn black down, that'll, that'll look well better. Um, so camera roll filter is just basically knowing what your image is like taking in the fact you know like is it really dark have you got to brighten it or have you got to darken it um and then once you know what it is just play around with the settings so we can turn the texture up quite a bit here so as you can see to zero to what it's just been on and then the clarity can go up a little tiny bit and the haze can go up a bit as well um Okay, and then now we'll turn the vibrance down and the saturation down by like two. 
So now we can see that's the normal image of Neymar and that's the one we've ended up with. So as you can see, there is a lot more going onto the image. Like the you can see the kit cleaner. Um you can see like the veins more in his head, like just the little tiny details um is what makes it better. So we're now just gonna export that and save that image of Neymar. Um So let's just save that as Neymar. Okay, so now that we've got the image of Neymar, that is the FIFA one done. But now let's get on to the actual image. Okay, so for example, I am literally just going to take a picture outside my window and I will show you the difference. So there, that is the picture taken. That is outside my window. So I will now um, pop that on the PC and show you exactly what to do. Okay, now that we have the image up of outside <laughs> my back garden. Um, okay, again, filter, camera roll filter. So, like I said, it also depends on how you want it to look. Like, I might want this to look like a really hot, summery day, so I can change this and just look at that. Straight away off camera roll filter, I've made it go from just a normal blue image uh, to like a really hot, summery type. And then, you know, you can add the highlights up, the shadows up, or you can turn the shadows down, to be fair. Um, whites up, blacks down, maybe, or up. Uh, texture up, clarity up. And then the haze up. We can turn the vibrance up, but the saturation down, maybe. So as you can see already, that is a massive, massive difference. A massive difference already, like a massive difference. Um, and you can take like turn the contrast up, but you can so okay. So I'm actually gonna save this, um, and that we'll keep that there, and then we will uh, get the image again, and then sh and then show you it dark as well. So we can, so then we can try, we can also try and make it look like night time, for instance. So let's uh, whack up camera roll filter again on the original image. Okay, so we can turn like the highlights down. Uh, we can turn the shadows down the whites down and the blacks down uh, and then we can turn the vibrance all the way down um, so again as you can see it's already starting to look a lot more darker um, we can turn the texture up the dehaze uh, like way up oh no actually because that's yeah that's the thing like obviously this will happen with enough every image if you put too if you put too much into it you can, you you'll be able to see like mad difference of like how do I say this of what the image actually how the image was actually taken uh, so obviously as you just saw there um because the sky is <laughs> I'm gonna be putting you can't see but you can see it there so on the right uh, it was a lot more blue than it was on the left so if you like turn the texture up and like you know you can you can just see where the gradient has been. Uh, so we'll turn the texture back down and the dehaze. We'll, we'll put it there, we'll put it there. Um, and then we'll turn the contrast up as well. So again, as you can see, there's a big difference, but there's little tiny, tiny bits of detail missing. So we're actually gonna turn the dehaze like this instead. And you know what, you could make it, you could, with images like this, you could make it look like snow. Like, well, 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 this particular image. So from using camera raw filter uh, on this original image, we've went from this to a cold, snowy one and a hot, nice summer day. Um, and then also with the Neymar one, we went with, we made this image, we removed the background and we made it to that. So as you can see, there is a big difference in the Neymar render. Um, so yeah, obviously camera raw filter is really, really effective in your photos. So if you do have a photo shop, make sure to use it because it does make a big difference. And there we have it. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. You don't know what to do. If you don't want to miss a video, make sure to press that notification bell and press the link at the top of the description. If you want any t-shirts like this, then make sure to head over to Pro Jersey Shop and use the code Dave for 10% off. And if you want any cards in the background like so, then make sure to head over to the link to your foot card and use the code Dave Designs for 25% off. And that's all, and I'll catch you soon.